Hi, today I will be showing one way of using the map tile tool. So we will start off by creating some graphs. You can uh, create anything really, but the idea is to create some uh, tiles that we can then generate more tiles from so that the model can use the other tiles as uh, inspiration. So for this first generation I want a uh, quite low init image strength. When it's just, for example, grass or road or beach, you don't really need any uh, init image, but I think it sometimes helps, so I'm going to use it. It's important you get your starting um, tiles pretty good so that the model will uh, continue doing good stuff. That's why I highly recommend if you have a alre already have some uh, tiles that you like, that you use them as inspiration so you get better uh, results later. So now we have created some grass. Let's uh, create some uh, sand or beach and then we can uh, create a transition from grass uh, to uh, to the beach. So I want to select the area in between so we get a nice transition and all of the uh, sand. So let's say uh, grass to beach. To start off once we get something that we like we can uh, keep it by removing the inpinning from it and then we can remove what we dislike fill it back in and then we generate on top of this so here we could say um, the beach sand uh, where it, uh, some rocks maybe and if it doesn't want to do what you want it to do we can add in some uh, some help, some init image help, and then uh, generate. It might be interesting to see uh, like beach to water. So what we could do might be more cooler to do something like uh, this to this and let's make water up here so you can get some nice corners something I want to note is that you can use customize uh, custom size which allows you to uh, generate on a 160 time uh, by 160 the issue with that is the model is better uh, when you're doing it on uh, a smaller, smaller, smaller size. So in this case, I'm thinking I kind of want to uh, allow the model to see the grass to uh, help it understand like the style that I'm using. So this might be actually be a case where I'm gonna let allow it to be a bit larger. Just so I can let it, the model see um, see everything. Let's try that. So let's uh, take this whole uh, area. Let's use in painting, and let's uh, we want some uh, nice sand to water transition here. We can do it all of it. Let's let's have a pretty decent image string, and we do uh, uh, and also something that's good to note is that models actually um, best at uh, editing what's in the middle of the image. So let's see what happens. Uh,
quite nice. You can retry again, see if it comes up with something even cooler. Okay, <coughs> this isn't perfect, but we can kind of see uh, what looks like in the future might be a good road. So what we're gonna do here is just remove what we don't want. And then what we uh, can do is go back into the in painting here. Then we're gonna show the model uh, the, the good road so the model kind of understands, oh, okay, this is what it should look like, then that will help uh, a lot. Then we can uh, go in here and just help the model out a little bit more by filling that stuff in, and then we uh, generate. All right, so once this is done, in this case, I'll probably go in here, maybe do something like that. And then, let's say we are kind of happy with this part. We can do something like that. Then yes, let's just fix this part. So I don't really, I'm not loving the uh, transition. So let's do uh, no init image in this case. And then we to go in here, and then we make the transition. All right, nice. And let's say now we want the uh, road to a uh, beach so in this case I'm just gonna custom size I think it will work pretty well gonna go in remove I'm pr I probably I don't want this I want to uh, I'm gonna want to in paint transition in between this stuff I'm gonna leave the road alone I want to show as much as possible of the uh, the road just to give it an idea what it should look like then here in between I'm just gonna uh, fill it in might be good to uh, take a darker color just so there's a bigger difference between the beach and the uh, road all right, then it's uh, beach to road. We're gonna use our init image and generate. All right, sometimes you don't get exactly what you were hoping for. Let's just do that for showcase. Let's go back like this. Then we can uh, help the model out by removing some of the in painting. Then we can grab this area here. So we want to make it look like this. All right, let's extend this area a bit. Let's say well, let's say we just want more grass. Now, this is when the um, large size uh, model is the best. It can see some grass, so it will easily yes, duplicate it. Alright, nice. 
this. And then uh, we could, um, let's say, add a tree here. So I'm just going to give the model uh, some help, then go back to 64 by 64 and say uh, tree and then increase the init image strength a bit. And the large tree just to be extra clear. Oh yeah, we have to uh, in-paint the tree as well. have a bit higher in the things so. okay nice then we can remove this and let's just fix the uh, top of the uh, top of the tree something like that nice let's say we want a um, a place to sit right here what you can do is just similar it through the tree we just in paint and then we can uh, say uh, a bench and we will get a bench a mountain here. What we can do is similarly to before just draw something in like this uh, that's the mountain this is an init image let's say 200 in painting Make sure you cover the transition. Nice. What we can do then is just extend that to the rest, like that, and make. Then we have to make sure we don't we remove the init in, in, uh, in painting here, so the model can copy this, and then we can draw in black on this area instead. nice and then let's say we want a, uh, a cave opening here we just go back in I recommend not using custom size and make it 64 64 and here we can uh, do the opening uh, something dark then we go in and say um, cave entrance. Let's have a pretty low init image strength because the color is so dark, so it should be fine. Nice. All right, nice. And we could then continue this. Let's say behind here, um, maybe we want a, uh, a dungeon or something. Nice. We can then uh, 
remove this. And you can kind of imagine how you can extend this mountain up a bit and uh, create a uh, dungeon inside. Maybe you can do something like this. I just want to in paint a corner here. Dungeon floor. Nice. So maybe easiest in this position is just do something like that. And then what you could do if you have a dungeon, you know, and you want a uh, treasure, I recommend just you can go. Either you can make one in uh, one of the other models, or you can just go in here and make a treasure chest like this. You wanna in paint where you want your treasure. Uh, remove and then let's say let's add a color just to show the model like oh I want my treasure chest to be in this area. Yes. And then let's increase it a bit. All right. All right. Nice. So yeah, you can kind of imagine what you can do uh, and how you can create stuff. And as long as you see in the images, you can control how the walls form or how the lakes are shaped and stuff like that. Uh, at the moment, the uh, Map tile tool is best used for 16 by 16, but you can do pretty much most of most stuff with it. You can add houses, uh, different uh, like plants, water stuff, uh, dungeon stuff, and yeah. Hope this is helpful, and uh, you can create some awesome stuff.